We have looked at copy running config startup config back when we were talking about memory up in here and we talked about RAM and NVRAM and the running config and the startup config file. And we said then that if I am, am in a device here and let's go to the command line for that device. I have to be sure I click inside here. There we go. Um, and I do a show start. Well, I'm going to get an error. Startup config is not present. And that's because this was a brand new device. And uh, it doesn't have a startup config in it. So it's going to pull from ROM instead and put that into running config. Now, that whatever was in ROM is now in running config. And if I do a show run, you'll see that default configuration. And let's say that I make some changes then, and now I want to save them to startup config uh, in order so when I shut down and come back up again, uh, that will copy from startup config into running config. So I would do a copy run start or copy running config startup config, and it'll ask me to verify that I really want to uh, put this in startup config, and I will go ahead and hit enter to register uh, to say that I, yes I do and now I do have a start uh, startup config show start like that and you can see it there here is the big warning never ever ever well I suppose there could be a circumstance you want to do this but for the most part never ever ever do this copy start run if you're working at a corporation and you did this command now you've spent you know the last hour days weeks whatever uh, nicely configuring a running config and then you copy start run you are now copying the old default uh, startup config file into running config and you have lost all of your work uh, so copy start run could get you fired uh, don't ever do that that's my big warning on that one